Well, good morning. This is all life things. Harris uh, with another update video about my 150 cc Scott Millington Motorsports Jazz Rocket 2021 model. Uh, it has not uh, been running, uh, staying cranked. I mean, it stays cranked, but after I'm um, about, hmm, I was what 3.8 miles, it was just cut off on me, regardless of how wide open or just how I would rev it or just drive it which I'm usually pretty good with it. So, um, yeah, here's an update. I removed the um, the starter pieces down here. From what I understand, had something to do. They were lodged in there. Uh, fell safe. I'm not 100% certain, but so far, it seems like it is staying cranked longer. It usually, uh, it's averaging. I hadn't cut off today, maybe because it's warmer. I'm still at, I'm at eight and a half miles, and I'm doing fine. Uh, I rode it around Burlington and stuff, did my errands, it handled fine. I was really surprised. Uh, I figured that would help it some. The only other thing I could think of is that it's probably a bad ignition coil spark plug wire. Um, possibly a compression issue like you were set, like my buddy of mine was saying. So, yeah, hey Kev, hit me up. Yeah, uh, yeah, this, uh, I moved those pieces, so let me, um, go ahead and show you you know what they are i'm sure but i'm just in case I, anyone else is gonna watch i'm gonna show you um the ones i took out right quick and what i put them in uh, just ignore the camera shake i still have not been able to get my new camera to work yet upgrade it yet i need a special uh type of software and a uh, different thing other than a tf card so uh, if you can see this, I'm not going to take it out because it's oil. There's the kickstart gear. Yeah, I had to remove that. Um, and you see that other edge right there. Maybe I can open it and show you. I won't touch it. But uh, you see where this is kind of, well, I touched a little bit. I got oil. That's okay. It's just a little bit. You see where that little gap is right there? I'm going to kind of touch it right here. See that? Well, that was getting caught up in there, and I think it was keeping my engine from, uh, it was making my engine over work maybe too hard, so it was cutting out or something because it was getting hot too quick, and I think it was jamming the clutch too maybe, which is very possible. Uh, tell me what you think about that, uh, uh, the GY6 people out here, and um, Kev, let me know if you think that was possibly an issue. I removed it. Um, I've seen people have removed theirs before, and it uh, actually works better for them. You know, if you're not in an area where you want to, like, where it's super, super cold, and you don't need the kickstart as a backup for your battery, your electric start uh, will do fine. At least that's fine with my experience. I've never had a problem with an electric start here. So, um, I'm going to crank it up for you, Kev, and I um, want you to tell me what you think. So, bear with me a minute here. <laughs> Sorry about that. You see how it sounds fairly good. So, uh, it was just cranked five minutes ago prior to this. So, it's going to warm right back up here within less than 30 seconds probably. Yep, there it is. It's warm. So, there it is running. It said it's warm. It's, uh, it's perfectly normal. You see uh, how good that sounds. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah. I don't know. Do you think that's better? I really think that, uh, this has made a difference in moving that. Yeah. So anyway. All right. I'm going to wrap this video up. And like it. Subscribe to all like things. Dot Harris. And I'll be making some more uh, series videos about gas prices in North Carolina. Burlington, North Carolina. Uh at certain gas stations and where to get your cheapest gas up here locally and for moped riders videos as well and mine. Alright, take care. Bye. God bless you all.